let us discuss about the valencial electron pair repulsion theory you can please simultaneously take down the notes valency shell so v stands here for valency valency shell electron pair repulsion so that is called simply it's a name vesper theory okay v s e p r vesper theory so this vesper theory even from the word vesper you can easily understand the valency shell it means the electrons available in the valency shell is it not the electron pair there is a repulsion among them and between other bonding electrons also okay right now let me discuss one by one the vesper theory it has got certain postulates how many postulates are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 postulates are there right the shape of a molecule depends on upon the number of valency shell electron pairs bond bonded or non bonded so it means shape of the molecule please note down shape of the molecule it depends on the number of valency shell electron pairs when you say electron pairs whether it is a bonded or non bonded okay around the central atom right around the central atom so let me highlight the important terms here so what is the very important term here the shape and the valency electron they talk about the shape right so shape of molecule is dependent on the number of valency shell electron pair okay right so this you can easily remember valency because we are already we have got the answer in the question itself vspr means valency shell electron pair so vspr means valency shell electron pair and there are you from this you can understand that there are two types of bonded pair for example let me consider nitrogen here okay so the atomic number of nitrogen is 7 1s2 2s2 2p how much 3 so let us put the box here 1 s and p is px py pz is it not so in each you have two electrons like this parallel spin anti parallel spin and here you have three is it not so 1 2 3 3 now you must understand here what is valency shell it is the outermost shell please note down valency shell means outermost shell is it not the ultimate shell outermost shell the exterior shell right so here the exterior shell is 2 the second shell is it not and how many electrons are there 3 plus 2 five electrons so here you have got now this is called non bonding electron electron pair this is also called a lone pair or able follow so what is lp write down lp lone pair of electrons and this is non bonding electrons and these are called bonding electrons or able to understand bonding electrons now sometimes there will be some bonded electrons as pairs also okay anyway so we have got now i hope now you should be able to understand the difference between what is that bonded and non bonded is it clear so there are some non bonding and there are some bonded electron got this point for example let me consider hydrogen 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 has got one electron this hydrogen has got one electron so there is a common overlapping between these two electrons and that results the bonding and that is represented as a h h so this is bonding are able follow so from this one point is very clear for a formation of a bond minimum two electrons are required got this point let me consider nitrogen in ammonia right so this nitrogen we have got already the for everything electronic configuration is very very important right so 
let me consider this nitrogen are you able to see this uh, pencil writing or shall i use some other pencil so let us consider the nitrogen the nitrogen is it has a lone pair of electron and the bonded electron like this because we have got already five electrons is it not so here we have discussed this is two and this is three so these are bonded electrons and this is non bonding electrons sometimes it can be represented like this also okay indicating that this is a lone pair of electrons and what about this hydrogen hydrogen it has got one electron this hydrogen has got one electron and this hydrogen has got one electron now there is a tendency to form a bond like this are you able to follow so when they are approaching each other definitely it will form a bond like this am i right h h h done and this is a pair of electron that is a lone pair of electron like this okay so this is called lone pair of electrons this is lone pair of electrons or non bonding electrons got it and these are all bonded pair i hope now you should be able to understand why i call this as pair got it so these are because you got one electron of nitrogen and one electron for hydrogen one electron of nitrogen so likewise okay so these are all what bonded pair are you able to understand this so how many bonded pairs are available here there are three bonded pair and there is only one lone pair now what happens is there is a repulsion between these two pairs either the repulsion can take place so one thing is very clear that is you have a pair of electron either it can be available as a lone pair like this suppose you may ask in the case of water molecule let me consider water where you have got uh, two lone pairs of electron i will show you now what is the molecular formula for water h2o let me consider the central atom is o is it not now what is the electronic i mean atomic number for this 8 is it not so 1s2 2s2 2p how much 4 4 plus 4 8 is it not so let us put the box model like this and this is another box model okay now p x p y p is that this is 2p 2s uh, this is 1s2 this is 2s2 this is 2p4 so the 2p4 can be written as 1 2 3 4 are able follow this now you have which is the outermost shell 2 is the outermost shell this is the valence shell are able follow and you have got the pair how many pairs of electron there are two pairs this two are lone pair and this is going to be involved with a hydrogen as bonded pair got it because once it is joined means bonded pair is it not right so what he says valence shell electron pair is it not valence shell electron pair valence so what what is the vsp this is v valence shell electron vse valence shell electron pair okay valence and there are two types of valence shell electron pair what are those lp and bp lp means non bonded electrons non bonded pair nbp and this is bp now there will be a repulsion between these two pairs of electron are able follow that is why we put r i hope now the point is very clear so vsp r means valence shell electron pair and there is a repulsion between them there are two types of bond i mean pairs and they are lone pair or nbp non bonding pair another is bonded pair so there will be a repulsion between these two and uh, sometimes there will be two lone pair so there will be a repulsion between two lone pairs also sometimes there will be a repulsion between two bp also are able follow so it means there is a repulsion between lp and bp or lp and lp 
or BP and BP. Got this point? Based on this, the shape of the molecule is determined. For example, let me consider water in this case. Okay. So, water I already discussed here. So, we can draw the, so for which we should be aware of the Lewis structure also. Is it not? So, water molecule. So, we expect the water molecule as a linear one. So, it has got one electron and this has got one electron and this oxygen one electron and this. And what about the outermost shell electron? How many electrons are there in the case of oxygen? 2 plus 4, 6. So, we had to account for 6. So, you have put 2 here and here you have got 2 lone pairs of electron. Are you able to follow? Okay. Right. Now, According to Vesper theory, what happens here? This is lone pair of electron. This is another lone pair of electron. And these are the bonded pair. Okay. So, what happens? There will be a terrific repulsion between these two. Got it? And it is because of this, this pressure is influenced here. So, a bending takes place. And that is why oxygen has got the V shaped structure like this. Are you able to follow? got it and what about this one and this is further widely delocalized like this that is repelled it is because of the repulsion so this is linear structure and this is the bent structure is it not so this structure is more stable okay and that is why that is, uh, we recognize the bent structure, the V-shaped structure of water molecule. Are you able to follow? Okay. So, this is the... So, based on the valency uh, shell electron power, uh, valency shell electron power repulsion theory, we can... What? Structure. Yes. Determine the structure. Now, let us go through one by one. Is it clear now? Right. So, the shape of the molecule depends on the number of valence shell electron pairs. So, we know bonded and non-bond or non-bonded. And this happens around the central atom. Got it? So, this is the first point. Second point, the pairs of electrons in the valence shell ripple one another. So, we talk about here the valence shell ripple one another. Right? Since their electron clouds are negatively charged. So, both of them are negatively charged. So, negative to negative there will be a repulsion are you able to follow? And third point, these pairs of electrons tend to occupy such positions in space that minimize the... So, if there is a... For example, if two friends are fighting each other in a bench, what teacher suggests? Hey, that is, you please keep yourself isolated. Okay? So, thereby, now these two electrons or pairs of electrons are slightly repelling and maximize the distance. Okay? So, repulsion what makes the maximization of the distance between them so here we talk about the repulsion and maximize the distance correct right then fourth point the valence shell is taken as a sphere usually the valence shell is a sphere a symmetric one with electron pair localizing on the localizing mean fixed at one spherical space so it is a symmetric sphere sphere at maximum distance so they want to keep apart so that they let it be comfortable okay then the multiple bond so he will talk about here the valence shell spherical structure with maximum distance from one another right in order to reduce the impact of the repulsion got it right and fifth point is the bond, the multiple bond, multiple bond is uh, treated. What do you mean by multiple bond, double bond, triple bond, etc.? So, the multiple bond is treated as if it is a single electron pair. If there is a double bond, C double bond, O double bond, and that should be taken as a single electron pair. And the two or other three electron pairs of multiple bond are treated as a single super pair. 
okay so as far as the multiple bonds are concerned yes a double bond is taken as a single electron pair identity is given to that and uh, where two or more resonance structures so it is because of this there is a possibility of formation of resonance structure okay resonance structure means in between structures okay when a molecule can be represented by more than one structure there arises resonance it is because of the delocalization of electrons okay what do you mean by delocalization instead of localizing at one place fixing for example uh, if you go to i mean if you travel in a bus and there is a single vacancy i mean that a, a double seater okay and there is one lady sitting there and you want to occupy another seat you will go and try to request and adjust herself is it not so that you can be accommodated okay like what so see in fact that is uh, the stability can be achieved so that the molecule can be safe you know it will be settled so it is more stable by reducing the repulsion in such a way the molecular arrangement by the delocalization of electron takes place okay so this kind of repulsion this is this repulsion is good actually okay so this repulsion helps for the better stability of a molecule right 